Hey guys, William Padilla Brown coming at you from the forests of Wingdale, New York. And uh, I'm here with this old birch stump. I've uh, been foraging with Michael Weiss and Pablo Cochran and another friend uh, that we met here. Um, but yeah, we were foraging in this area and we found some really beautiful white, uh, um, uh, white ringed honey mushrooms. And uh, we just kept going on and then uh, one of our friends found some chaga and then we found some more chaga on a live birch. So the chaga on the live birch has more of the secondary metabolites, more of the active uh, compounds. Um, but uh, finding the chaga on these uh, dead trees, uh, they'll still have the metals that they accumulated and some of the uh, oils and melanin and such, but the uh, chaga on the live trees is gonna be way more potent. Um, but I'm still collecting some for a little sampling. Um, I might try and get a culture off of this and uh, maybe drink some tea off of it and see what it what, what it's like. Um, but yeah, chaga is uh, the, if I'm not mistaken, the second highest antioxidant next to chocolate. Uh, it's easy, chocolate and, and chaga are up there as the two highest antioxidants, and uh, yeah, it's very beautiful for cleansing the body. Um, it has